and welcome back everyone to the Bitcoin Business Bureau. I'm your host as always, Litecoin Leader. Today I'm going to explain what that crazy title means, which is the Crypto or Income Rube Goldberg Machine. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So first, we got to talk about what is a Rube Goldberg Machine. And it is basically a machine that is way too complicated to do a simple task. Now, you probably knew that already. You just didn't know the name for it. But if you've ever played the game Mousetrap, you've built one. And if you've ever watched a cartoon, usually a classic cartoon, you've probably seen one in action. And I'll share one in a moment. Uh, you may have even seen it in a movie, such as a movie that's like, I think Home Alone had an example as well. But these are just uh, contraptions that use many steps to do a simple task, like turning on a light switch or something simple like that. But that we're going to talk about why I'm talking about this crazy Rube Gold machine after I share this clip. So enjoy. There you have it. That's the so there you have it. That's what a Rube Goldberg machine looks like, and that's a classic cartoon, and probably gets me demonetized for this video. But I don't care. It's just a video, um, so no no monetization today. But I wanted to share a story from one of our subscribers over at Crypto Confidential. Now, if you're not a subscriber, you haven't seen the the ten crypto commandments. I will post them again at this end of this video. But one of the things that we talk about over there is don't sell your assets, but to borrow against them. And I've talked about borrowing before. I've done this, this five-part series, which I'll share again from Nexo, which is where you borrow against your assets. But this particular member of Crypto Confidential, and I can talk about this just fine because it's not financial advice. I'm just telling his story. So he got creative. He said, what assets can I borrow against? And he decided, he's like, I collect a lot of silver. So he found a very reputable company called Money Metals, and he sent some, mon some silver not all, but some, to money metals for safekeeping and as and as collateral for a loan. So they gave him a loan. I think it was seventy five percent loan to value, interest only. It was, it was probably under, probably twelve percent or less. It's uh, it's manageable number. It's called twelve percent because that's one percent a month. Makes the math easy. But then he took that's that was step one. That was step one of his his machine. The next step was to take the money from the currency, the the currency from the loan and purchase an income producing asset. And he chose Divi. So he chose Divi because it's easy to stake, easy to unstake, and you get two to three percent uh, a month if you're staking it properly. It, it fluctuates two to three percent. It's it's not you know like clockwork like like other coins, but it's a good return, but it's higher than the loan that he had or the payments he needed to make on the first loan. So now he took his asset. Originally he started with an asset of silver. It wasn't making him any money, though. It was just sitting there. So he, he chose to take that asset, leverage against it, kept and sent it to a reputable company for safe safekeeping, but it's still his to control. He can get it back. Uh, he just has to repay the loan. Um, but he now he's got that, and now he took the money from that currency. I have to yeah, stop saying money. He took the currency from that, from that loan, those U.S. dollars, bought Divi. That was step two. And they started staking Divi. And now he takes the rewards from Divi and pays off the loan. So a couple steps there. It's not that complicated of a Rube Goldberg machine, but it's, and you really want to keep your machines as simple as possible because every extra step can add 
complexity, of course, but also can create a mistake or something breaks, something that doesn't go how you expect. So that's what I wanted to share. That's what I wanted you guys to think about. And uh, and we don't have an AMA this week. We have one for my Patreons. Uh, that's on Wednesday, I think at 8 p.m. But next Wednesday is going to be one for Crypto Confidential members, and it's a great time to join. There's going to be another newsletter that comes out on the 1st. And we continue to talk about this, and we would love to hear stories like this and creative, out-of-the-box thinkers that say, what assets do I have? How can I leverage against them? And how can I create more revenue and income for me passively, which is fantastic, uh, and put money in, say, staking, a liquidity pool, something that's relatively not too crazy. There are crazy liquidity pools. It's not, I, not financial advice, but those are ones you really got to watch. Like if you're getting like, you know, thousands of percents a day, um, those those ones can get a, can be a rug pulled right out from under you and just go down quickly or just be non-existent the next day. So you got to watch those. But if you get into a stable, a reasonably stable liquidity pool or you get a good staking situation, you can certainly create a revenue stream from assets you already have. So I would love for you guys to join us over at Crypto Confidential. I'm going to post the 10 Crypto Commandments at the end. Please use the link. Uh, and then... We hop on over there, join us there, and if you can even become an affiliate for Crypto Confidential, and with two members, if you have two other friends that would benefit from this, and they join from your affiliate link, it pays for your subscription for the year. So, some, something to think about, as well as creating your own income revenue stream through a Rube, your own creative Rube Goldberg machine. So, think about it. Share it in the comments. Share it over Crypto Confidential. We have a Telegram. We have a forum. We have the AMAs. Love to hear from you guys. So. Lots said today, lots to think about. So I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm going to close the drawer on the bureau, say follow the leader, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.